So guys, recently if you have bought this Redmi Note 8 Pro, then you should watch this complete video because today I am going to tell you more than 20 plus tips, tricks and hidden features of this Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro that will blow your mind. So hey, what's up guys, my name is Zaheer and this is the hidden features of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. So let's begin. So first of all a quick disclaimer over here guys i am gonna tell you more than 20 tips so there might be some basic tips and some advanced tips so if you know some basic tips don't say that i know them so with that said let's begin so let's go to the settings go to lock screen and here you will find a lot of settings like you have normal settings double tap to wake just enable it raise to wake this is very nice uh, when your phone is on the table and when you pick it up it will wake the display so you can basically open it with the face unlock and we have wallpaper carousel uh, this is very nice feature actually but it has some ads uh, like as you see over here now i will get a different different wallpaper when i open the display as you see so it's nice feature but it has ads so be aware of that then we have lock screen owners information here i can type any uh, name whatever i want first of all i have to enable it then i can type uh, like subscribe to me and as you see over here i have got this information right in the lock screen after that we have we can change the lock screen clock style that's great we have the other you know launch camera option that is not necessary next go to the display settings and here you will find a lot of settings like uh, reading mode first of all very very important thing here because it's a blue light filter blue light filter is very important if you are gonna use your smartphone after the sunset you should use this it will help you sleep better basically it reduces the blue light which the display emits that blue light hampers the melatonin hormone that secretes in your brain which help you to sleep better yeah that's too scientific but this is it and then we have dark mode very nice thing as you see the whole phone become dark and it looks amazing even though it has a ips display but dark mode looks amazing and we have color and contrast you can change the contrast in the colors of the display as per your liking then we have a status bar from here you can hide the notch if you don't like the notch but still it has ips display so i don't suggest you to do that then we have a show connection speed enable it you will get the connection speed in the notification panel we have a show carrier uh, when your device is locked so as you see over here we have emergency because there is no sim card so yeah we can enable the battery indicator from here too so yeah these are some of the settings which are present over here we have full screen mode we can just uh, force any application to use the area which notch occupies we have auto rotate screen which is also necessary in my opinion then now after that go to sound and vibration and go into the earphone setting from here you can control the uh, all the settings which are regarding to the headphone you have to connect the headphone first we have equalizer from here you can basically just adjust all the frequencies that uh, smartphone emits 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz are the range of human hearing of the sound so you can change each and every frequency with the equalizer and you have some presets too so you can choose according to your liking so yeah, it's a very nice feature after that go into the notification from here you can change the notification shared MIUI or android whatever your preference is then after that go into the wallpaper basically these are some of the customizations option like wallpaper you can change the wallpaper from here any wallpaper that you want you have theme option you have ringtone option you have font option and in my page you will see all the things which are necessary like you can change the icon style like classical icon style which is very very cartoonish so i don't like it i like this limitless so yeah, these are some of the things which are present over here you can definitely change it and customize your smartphone according to your personal taste and personal style password and security then we have the second space very nice feature guys you can basically create a virtual smartphone in your current smartphone and use a second smartphone in your current smartphone yeah i know i'm saying a lot but it is what it is so with the verification of the code i can go into second space. so as you see this is a second space basically a virtual smartphone in my smartphone so very awesome feature so yeah amazing feature i love it by the way then uh, go back go into the battery settings you have battery optimization you can optimize your battery as you see yeah 100 percent optimized and uh, you have battery saver mode you can watch the usage of the battery what things are consuming a battery your hardware screen on time is also present over here 
so these are the things and you can schedule power on and off so that's great and uh, then we have use adaptive battery basically ai mode power usage so yeah all those things are present over here then go to the apps we have system app setting normal then we have manage apps from here you can uninstall any application that you want uh, basically batch uninstall is possible we have find app you have permissions and uh, then we have dual apps this is very necessary this is very very awesome actually uh, with the help of this dual app setting you can create second app of the same app basically a mirror of same app and use another id basically if you want to use two facebook on a single phone you can use this and then we have app lock so as you see from here i can lock any application that i want like for example the gallery is locked so when i touch the fingerprint scanner then only the gallery will open now after that uh, let's go to the additional setting go into the full screen mode here you can set gestures like full screen gesture not now so with the help of gesture you can just swipe up to go home uh, swipe anywhere on the screen basically left or right to go back and swipe up and hold to open the recent menu yeah i don't like it obviously i don't like it so we have button shortcuts from here you can assign a lot of shortcuts like turn off screen turn on torch close current application and you have plethora of option to choose for example i have assigned the power button to launch the camera when i press power button twice uh, it opens the camera so yeah so you can definitely dig into this setting and utilize it uh, let's go to the one hand mode very awesome thing guys just enable it like if you want to use your smartphone in just one hand and you are you want to reach the top it's where it's not possible because of this uh, display this display is very large so when you enable this setting just choose whatever the size that is comfortable to you just like for example four inch if i swipe from the middle to right yeah or left or whatever as you see i got the small screen so i can properly reach all the four corners very nice and then we have the quick ball setting over here very awesome actually uh, like those who were using the apple devices in the past those who are aware what is the quick ball so as you see we have the quick ball you don't have to use the buttons over here you have screenshot lock screen recent home and back button present over here and you can also customize it from here then after that go to the accessibility from here guys you have a lot i mean plethora of options present over here like talk back like listen talk back on talk back is a talk back tutorial listen to scrolling scrolling forward and backward controls talk back off yeah very nice feature we have a lot of features like magnifications so if you if you have any issues in your eye when you want magnification of the display you can definitely have it from here and uh, you can remove the animation you have a lot of features over here you can definitely dig into it and make your smartphone more accessible to you if you have any disabilities it will be very very handy for you then after that go into the digital well-being guys it is very very important this feature is very important from here you can see your data that how you use your smartphone today i have used it for 18 minutes and 16 unlocks has been done we have all the necessary information present over here so you can definitely look into it and we have the parental control too you can control it. basically if you want to give your smartphone to your children or someone then you can set up a parental control so that will be great actually so yeah these are all the settings then we have special feature here you have game turbo the name suggests it's a game turbo it turbos the game and it blocks the notification it gives enhanced performance and then we have quick replies as the name suggests uh, use quick replies for notification for selected messages like if i want to give quick replies or uh, like a quick replies means uh, reply from the uh, notification shared so yeah and uh, then lastly go on the home screen from here you can do a lot of things like go into the setting you have transition effect you can change the transition then you have a default screen that is very normal then you can change the layout of the screen we have fill empty install lock screen like if you want to lock the layout of the screen so you can lock it now no one can move any application from here to there then in the more you have launcher setting uh, you have lock screen home layout and you have yeah these are all the settings that are present over here app vault so yeah and guys here i can say that this is one of the best implementation that i have seen like if i want to move this application from here to here i can just use two fingers to move it i don't have to go like this and do like this i just have to use two finger and it will be very very amazing and 
as you see when i pinch in i can select multiple application and put them into the folder put them into the another page and uninstall everything at the same time so these are some of the features which i have found very amazing in the mui so yeah and guys uh, one tip when you make any folder just make sure to do one thing select on this uh, name and just disable this promoted apps because when you enable it you will get the advertisement so that's very very irritating for me so yeah these are all the features that i found i know i have missed a lot of features that you guys are interested and you guys know and if you know them and if you think that they are interesting enough to share then feel free to share them in the comment section below the people will be very very thankful to you so yeah so yeah that's all in this video guys i hope you found this video helpful if you did then hit that like button share this video with your friends who are looking to buy the smartphone or any other smartphone in this price category it will be very very helpful for them as well as for me so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video guys by the way if you love my content you can subscribe to this channel with that bell notification icon so you'll be notified when i post new videos like this one in the future by the way subscription is free yeah so you can definitely subscribe so yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys bye